So here, free skill. And uh, what do you show here? Yeah, so I'm showing the last uh, sensor fusion demonstration platform, which is based on a Freedom evaluation board, Arduino form factor, together with a sensor shield board, where we have our most recent sensors, including our last gyroscope, plus our last combo magnetometer accelerometer. We do run a sensor fusion algorithm in the Kinetis here, yeah. and we send the data via Bluetooth uh, to an Android tablet. Here we have a, uh, an Android apps, which is just used to display the data, the, the calibrated data coming from the sensor fusion algorithm here. So you see in the 3D. So it's really fast. Yeah, it goes very fast. Um, thanks as well to the hardware capability, we can go very high in the uh, sampling rate of our sensors. Um, um, so the output data can be the vector in 3D, can be um, your pitch roll type of information. Uh, anyway, this type of calibrated data can be used by the application. So the user can take this data as an input for this application. So sensor fusion, it means, uh, where are all these different sensors here on the board, for example? Yeah, I mean, let me show you. Um, so here you see the, the 4x4 is our first uh, free scale, free axis consumer gyroscope. Where, again? The, this one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so on this board, we also have our 3x3 three three millimeter combo magnetometer accelerometer. Okay, so for this demonstration, we just use those two devices, this one plus this one, the combo, okay. accelerometer, magnetometer, plus the gyroscope. <laughs> but on this board, we have put all our new sensors in order to use it as a uh, demonstration or development platform. Yeah. So we have our altimeter with 25 centimeter uh, resolution. Um, we have our intelligent sensor hub with a cold fire V1 processor, uh, integrated together with a free axis accelerometer in a 3 by 3 millimeter package coming with some foreign firmware such as pedometer firmware which makes this product as a turnkey pedometer for instance um, and we have different flavors of accelerometers in 2 by 2 millimeter or 3 by 3 millimeter for consumer or uh, con uh, industrial market so this is really an interesting board that can be used just for proof of concept validation for demonstration or for pure development, taking advantage of the Arduino form factor uh, and the Kinetis M0 Plus or M4. Uh, this device is working on the free scale, um, is the KL25, right? Or K20, M0 Plus core or M4. This one is, um, is the KL25, yeah, KL25. Z. All right. Okay. So this battery also in between or? Yeah, so we, what we ship actually to our customers, if you want to order that, on one side you order the um, Freedom Board, Arduino Form Factor, uh, from our partner, I think uh, Farnell. Uh, and the side. processor in there is? It's the KL25. Yeah, it's, it's here, KL25. Here. Right. Okay. And the sensor BU is selling that board, a sensor shield board, that you, together with the battery already there, and the Bluetooth module, okay, and all those sensors. So this is called the Freedom uh, Shield Board. Okay, you can uh, yeah. buy it on our freescale.com on the sensor freescale.com <coughs> that can be connected directly to the uh, to the sensor. Regarding the firmware, you can download the firmware uh, sensor fusion firmware on the on the on the on the free Freedom Board web link at Freescale okay. in order to flash the pre-flash the Freedom image into that uh, that uh, that board. So Freescale is one of the world leaders in sensors. Right. And uh, the, the future of like Mobile World Congress is having phones with all kinds of new sensor technologies or smart use of them, like just touch the phone, it turns on. Yeah, basically in terms of use cases, we, 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 don't, we don't see a discontinuity in, in new use cases. So, so we, are, we still see the same classical use cases, touch to wake up or tray landscape transition. Uh, and then we see more and more apps that are using more and more the sensor content, which is anyway there in the Android platform, and bringing some new type of use cases, uh, pedestrian navigation, location-based services. Um, I mean, so these sensors go in phones and smartwatches everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Typically, our target for this type of sensors uh, are consumer market, wearables, IoT, watches, sport watches. Uh, medical devices, uh, even in the market, uh, geosismic systems, appliances, uh, vibration monitoring in uh, some big machines. It's a really wide market, fragmented market as well. Maybe in the future it'll be enclosed. 
in in clothes clothes yeah intelligent clothes that, that's a new market which is emerging and we have customers working on that actually that that's right uh, it will require uh, quite yeah definitely that's a new market yeah.